viewers we are back again welcome back yes um, we went on a little recess okay so we are continuing the topic is it okay for an individual to leave his or her local church and by the grace of god god's servant has been able to do justice to that topic so we have other proposals other questions that will be very relevant to this topic so on this um, on this um, note we'll be welcoming our guest for today his name is reginald Iyewulesi. okay um actually the the person we're calling a guest now it happened that while we're doing the part a of this um is it okay for me to leave my local church he asked the question yes. so i decided that i will have him join as a guest for Life, this part B. Yes. So come come and see that. So you ask the question. So himself. he asked the question behind the screen. And he happens to be my nephew. Okay, so he asked the question behind the scene. And that question is very important. And I'd like him to ask the question on, on camera for everyone to actually listen and let me see myself answer that. Okay, come. Welcome. Thank Reginald. you very much, sir, okay. for this wonderful time. Okay. And my question goes like this that changing church. Sometimes there will be a church they will give some criteria one should follow if you want to become a member in that church. So I was like, those criteria they are giving, is it right or should he just enter church and start flowing with them? What okay. criteria? Yes. I don't think I think it's very important. Now, if you're talking about criteria for a church, a church giving criteria for membership, wow, I don't see that as wrong. Now, what type of criteria are they? That's exactly, that should be now, the question. You see, there are some churches that operate like cults. Mm -hmm. There are so, some things they call church cults, Christian cults. There are some churches that the criteria there are very, very, that can be very damning to the soul. So any criteria a church is giving um, as a requisite for membership to you and the criteria you happen to see that this criteria is not actually pro-Christ. A, a, a criteria is not actually um, upholding the values of scriptures. Wow. You know you will be entering a court. So if that is a requisite for membership, you don't need to be a member. You just need to leave. Are you getting me? So the criteria for membership of a church is actually not wrong. But what type of criteria is it? What type of criteria is it? Now, if you watch, for those of you that have known the church movement for years now, um, during the 80s and the 90s and the mid 70s in America and to the nations, there was a church movement that was in vogue, which is called the Shepherdi movement. Now, um, God's servant, Derek Prince, was part of the Shepherdi movement. And the Shepherdi movement had to do with discipleship. And their discipleship system was called occultic. In the sense that you must come to submit to your to a leader of the movement, another person submits to you, and they had oaths, they took oaths. Like for instance, Derek Prince, when his other wife died, he could not marry the wife he married because the brotherhood told him that they don't approve of that woman. So your co-brothers in the faith have to approve. Of anything you do before you do it even if the Lord says do and your brothers didn't approve that means you leave what the Lord said and do what your brothers say so that evolved into a Christian court it now happened that sometime the Holy Spirit opened the eyes of God's servant direct prince and as his eyes opened he denounced the shepherding movement now you know like today now we have um, such movement actually coming up in the church today uh, you, 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 you see any movement that any criteria for membership any criteria for church membership that does not uphold value of scriptures uh, shouldn't actually you shouldn't follow it sentimentally you just discard it you just discard it so the criteria for membership shouldn't discourage someone that oh this church has criteria for membership no it shouldn't it's normal a church should even have criteria for membership for instance in the criteria now for membership uh, the new testament paul said a bishop should not have more than one wife a particular church may, may tell you that is an error for you to be in a house with a sister alone. If they find that you are in a house with a sister alone, as a leader in a department, 
you will be removed from your position. That criteria is fine. That is godly. It opposes the value of godliness. So what criteria is it? Is it, criteria, is it that, okay, for instance, there are some prophetic churches that may say, um, for membership, you must make sure that you don't question anything Papa talks about. So even if Papa comes and tells you that Jesus is no more the Christ, then you now must believe that Jesus is no more the Christ. Me, so such criteria, so thank you. Yeah. Such criteria are not upholding vast uh, va- values of scriptures. Mm. Does that satisfy your question? Yeah, thank you, you. You have something to, to say to that? I know. I think uh, I, like what you just said. Well, my my emphasis was actually on what type of criteria. Giving criteria is actually not the issue. Like you rightly said, is now to know what kind of criteria they are giving. Are you getting? Yes. Just like for some for example, now somebody says before you get um, admitted into a church or before you are welcomed into an assembly, suppose assembly of God, that you must bat in a particular river. Are you getting me? Or wow, you must that's a, a particular cult. emblem. Or that's something. a cult. Those things are they are they are unscriptural. Those are extra yes. extra Christ. Those are those are. Those, those are ungodly practices. So, any church that brings any value to you that is not upholding the values of scripture, please, for sentiment's sake, don't, don't, don't for sentiment's sake, flow with it. No, don't. Be like the Bereans. You know one thing, there were two types of Christians in the days of Paul. Paul said these Bereans, uh, uh, the scripture says the Bereans and the Thessalonians. These are two different sects. He said the Bereans actually by scripture searched if that which Paul said was true. But the Thessalonians, they did not. So the Bible said the Bereans were more noble than the Thessalonians. So the Thessalonian generation is what we have today that swallows everything who can sink up. For instance, there's someone in Kenya, <laughs> I wouldn't That's mention his name. Into the light of the yes. A- anything must be scrutinized mm. by the scripture. So for instance, someone from Kenya, a particular prophet, I wouldn't mention his name, is already popular within the Eastern Africa. He said that he actually is Elijah and Moses. He's two prophets together. Before he used to say he was the Elijah that was to come, that he's prophet Elijah. Now he's saying he's the he's two prophets together. So some people are calling him prophets of the Lord. That is in plural. They are called, oh, my prophets, not my prophet. He's now two prophets. So he believes that he's those two olives that will come wow. to stand in the days of the Antichrist to lead the people of God into the promise. Now, you, you see, such a man, because of the doctrine, he teaches his people, they can die for what they believe. Yeah. One of the times I tried to write against the practices some of his members came threatening my life they were like no no no, i can't speak against but this prophet is actually telling people that he is moses and elijah and that there is no other voice that must be heard on earth except him that he's the only voice from the lord he's the only prophet alive now you 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 see that that does not uphold the values of scriptures that also brings me to actually i think um there's some there's one that, that was actually going viral on social media okay. this particular prophet i can't i can't remember his name but he's actually i think he's from the southern america he forces or, or he encourages his um, members or his congregation to eat grasses no that's know? not southern america that's south africa oh, south africa yes okay. okay so they eat grasses you know some of them take jig and um, this antiseptic okay i i happen to have I happen to have someone that I discipled, and that person I I I still disciple the person now. The person was actually a participant of the fur drinking movement. Oh, they, used they, to, even draft. they used to drink fur, eat grass, and the person I'm telling is a national director of a company. Wow. Is a na- okay. Now you see, um, doctrine is very powerful. Paul said to Timothy, "Till I come, give thyself to doctrine, for by it you will save yourself and save both them that hear thee." Both thyself and then thyself. So doctrine is powerful. Mm-hmm. Are you saying? So you leave a church that does not have the right doctrine. You can die and live out to people. Yes, yes. Die. If the church is not having the right doctrines, you leave it. Mm-hmm. So I I believe that satisfies the um question okay. you put up. So you have anything to say? Is your question answered? Yes, sir. Are you no 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 don't 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 just nod your head. Look at the viewers and tell them my question is answered. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with the question, actually. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. so uh, we, we, we've answered the question. So, this is the Ecclesia today. We'll be coming up with more series on many topics around the church. So, if you feel there's anything you would like us to speak on concerning the Ecclesia today, you write in the comment section any topic you would like us to address. It's going to be addressed practically by scripture, scripturally, and by the help of the Holy Spirit. So we'll be addressing it. Feel free, write at the comment section whatever topic you would like us to touch on, and make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and share the link to your friends so that they can also be blessed because I believe you have been blessed. So 
before we come your way next time, the, until we come your way next time, this is Apostle Christian Woke. This is Julia. It's my wife, Woke. Julia Christian Woke, and this is Regina Dihule. Okay, wow. okay. So God bless all of you. This is Bye. the Ecclesia Shalom today. From this see end. you, see you, see you next time. God bless on you. On the all. same um channel. God bless you. Yeah.